the third floor is a previs studio. We specialize in pre-production of all types, um, working with different directors in both commercials, video game cinematics, and feature films. The third floor originally was founded up at the Skywalker Ranch. We actually refer to the third floor of that building where we were sequestered for a number of years on Star Wars Episode Three. At the end of our tour of duty, we decided to get together and form our own studio down here in Los Angeles. So what we do is we build a representation of the scenes, the characters and the environments that we're, um, that we're using to stage the action. Previs is done in much smaller teams um, where one artist may be doing lots of different things and they're working very closely with the director to visualize these scenes. How our process works at the third floor is to create most everything in, in Maya and then we'll import all of those pieces into uh, the Motion Builder world. Maya has been the core of our pipeline since Lucasfilm. We'll use Maya for uh, modeling, texturing, animation, um, tweaking effects, and pretty much getting the best look we can out of the OpenGL viewport. The great thing about Maya is it allows us to build tool sets and customize the workflow in a way that allows us to quickly move through the technical parts and focus solely on the artistic part of putting together a scene. Motion Builder is really a fantastic tool in that it allows us to integrate things live in the 3D environment. No other tool out in the marketplace that we've seen has this capability. It has the, the ability to integrate other hardware to get our data in there. It allows us to make that, that environment look as beautiful as it possibly can. And all the while, it's real time. And action. We made it a mission of ours to create a room where we could have a virtual filmmaking experience. Directors like to work with a virtual camera. So we have a system that allows them to manipulate a real actual physical camera with a sensor on it that's fed live into Motion Builder that actually lets them manipulate around the Motion Builder camera. We've actually added a, um, a monitor. Actually, it's a, uh, it's a Wacom tablet. And we use that as our viewer and our input device for operating the camera inside the virtual world. From there, it, we you integrate the motion capture suit. So those two tools integrate very well into Motion Builder. We can record this information and they can actually create their own shots. It really is an exploratory process that, that opens up the directors to a whole host of new possibilities. <laughs> Field is a little bit of a special case in terms of how we approach the camera because obviously it's a it's a handheld show. It, everything is it's supposed to look natural and, and not planned out. But behind the scenes, you can't just wing it. You need to you need to have a certain plan for what's going to happen. So let's say we had a shot that was broken into five different takes so that they could get all the action. We just spit out each a movie file and, and, and roughly speaking the data and the layout for the action that took place and then they would go and, and uh, use that as at least as a starting point or an idea for what, what they would actually do. The beauty of the previs process is that we get to start very early on with the directors and we were working constantly to preserve that vision all the way through the process by leveraging all of the, the tools in our pipeline. The Autodesk products, all of the technology, all of the software. Through the process of what we do, we are actually able to optimize the entire movie, hopefully make it more creative but literally get more of the cost of the movie to end up on screen.